Hi, this is Mrs. Zhu, and we are working on our problem set for lesson 18. This is on scale drawings and using them to find missing links. For the first question here, um, remember that it'd be best for you to try the problems first before you watch the video. At least get a chance to read the question to yourself before you watch the video, because I won't stop to read the question. All right, number one. What we're looking at is that there's old packaging and new packaging. So we're going to go ahead and set up our questions and proportions. So I'm going to set up um, a proportion first, a ratio that describes the old, and then a ratio that describes the new, and make them equal to each other so that we have a proportion. Now in the old packaging, a we had a half an inch was being used. And this picture of the car is measuring the old packaging that had two inches. So I have half and two. Now the difference between half and two, we know that it's four times the amount of a half to get two inches. And that will help us when we're doing the problem. The new ratio is going to be one over three inches over an X number of inches. Now to make it easier for yourself, instead of, uh, we can just go ahead and multiply by four because four times half is two. And we could simply do a third times four as well, giving me the X. So if I take a third and I multiply it by four, I'm gonna put the four over one. Then one third times four, when I multiply it, is four over three. So my answer is one and a third of an inch is going to be the length of the new package, the image package. Now if I were to um, do that a different way, let me show you here. If I had one half over two, that was equal to three over x, what I could do is instead of using half because maybe it's harder to use fractions oh I'm sorry this was one third I could simply change the half to one make, meaning that the two will become a four so then I could use one fourth and one third over x as my ratio so then when I cross multiply I can cross one with x which just gives me x then I can cross half or one third times four again I'm multiplying a third times four I'm going to put the 4 over 1, which gives me 4 over 3, and the M <coughs> mixed fraction will be 1 and a third. So you can see there are several ways to approach the problems here. Go ahead and look at number uh, 2. Alright, in number 2, what we see is that there is this building here, and what we're going to have to do to see if it will fit on the billboard that is 14 feet in height, we're going to actually have to go and measure this. So you're going to have to take out your ruler, measure how long this is. We know that a half an inch is 7 feet. When we measure it, we measure that it's exactly 1 inch high. So because it's 1 inch, um, that's going to tell me that I'm going to have 14 feet to work with. So yes, the drawing measures an inch in height. So yes, it will fit. We're going to skip on down to number four. Make sure for number three you're measuring as well with your ruler. For number four we see a model of a skyscraper and one inch represents 75 feet. We're going to skip on over that. That one should be pretty easy. I want to show you number five. Okay, for number five here what we have is, um, I'm going to move to a different page here so I have some space. But number five, we're looking at this portrait that is three and a half inches. Now the portrait is represented on the wall decal. For every one inch, it's the same as 20 inches. Now since I have three and a half, I'm going to kind of show you this in a bar model. So if I draw one bar, and that's one inch, a second bar for the second inch, a third bar for three inches, 
and another bar for the fourth inch. I know my bars, you know, are not very good. Okay, so I have one inch for each of these. Inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Okay, since I have three and a half, what I'm going to do is divide each one into halves. Okay, so what I need is one inch, two inches, three inches, and then a half of another inch. Now, we know that one inch is also the same as 20 inches in the wall decal. So this is also 20, whoopsies. This whole thing is 20, this whole thing is 20, this whole thing is 20, this whole thing is 20. Now, since I divided this first bar into two equal pieces to represent the halves, then I know that since the whole thing is also 20 inches for the wall decal, each one is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, okay? And that will make a total of the actual size of the wall decal and how high it is. So I'm going to take the 10, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. So 7 times 10 is equal to 70, and that's the inches high for the wall decal. There's our answer. Now it's also asking if we stand next to it, will we be smaller or larger? And we're actually 55 inches tall. So definitely we're not as tall as the wall decal. Pretty large decal. Now try to rest by yourself and we'll see you tomorrow.